I've always been interested in research from the fact that I get bored pretty quickly doing the same thing. So research for me is something that, you know, you keep thinking about new stuff every day. My research concerns a lower respiratory tract infection virus. And well, the inspiration behind it is lower respiratory tract infections are the top three causes of mortality globally in the world. And if you go into like the lower income countries, for example, Kenya, where I come from, it's actually the top cause of mortality. We collect samples from children uh, admitted at a hospital. So these are severely ill children presenting with pneumonia. So we take a swab, we take a sample from their noses, and then we take this sample to the lab. We extract the genetic material, and then we are able to sequence. Basically, it's finding the sequence of characters of the A's, T's, G's, and C's in the DNA of the virus. And because we have samples from multiple patients, we are able to establish some form of evolutionary relationships between them. And this helps us understand how the virus changes over time, as well as uh, because we have locational information of the patients, where they come from, we are able to uh, sort of infer how the virus spreads between the different locations. The questions that I'm trying to answer is one, how does the virus come into a community? So do you have it introduced into a single location, then it spreads to the other locations, or do you have multiple introductions into different locations? Okay. The second thing that I'm interested in is when the virus is introduced into that location, how does it change over time? At which speed does it change? Where do the changes occur in the genome of the virus? I think for the PhD, personally, what I've learned is asking the right questions. So um, what do I want to achieve from this? And also interpreting the kind of information that you get from the data that you're analyzing. How do you interpret it? And also, how important is it? not just to me as a scientist, but also to the wider community. How useful is it? How can it be used by the person I took the sample from? How can it be used by a company that's developing a vaccine? How can it be used by a policy um, uh, analyst at, for example, WHO? So how this information is useful to people at different levels. So some of the outcomes that came out of my research is being discussed at a, I would say, a vaccine development meeting. So we are asking like, okay, these changes that you found in the virus, how impactful could they possibly be in the development of the vaccine? So for me, I feel like, okay, uh, the outcomes of my PSG research is actually feeding directly into some of the future control measures uh, for this particular virus.